So this power hammer was purchased by a friend of mine at an auction in San Jose, California, and I was delighted when I got back to my shop to see this sticker. It was manufactured for the Corps of Engineers by Chambersburg and shows almost no evidence whatsoever of use. I speculate that it must have spent decades in the belly of a service vessel or perhaps in a dam in a maintenance shop during the time that the metal industry switched from blacksmithing to fabrication. When I got it from the auction, the oiler and the dies had been cannibalized, pressed into service somewhere else, no doubt. A good friend of mine machined these dies out of a piece of 4350, which is a very, very abrasion-resistant steel. They're holding up pretty well, although a sweet spot is developing, which I will probably need to deal with before long. The decision to make flat dies rather than drawing dies or combination dies was agonizing for me, not having operated a power hammer before. I'm happy with the flat die decision. The oiler worried me. I ended up getting in contact with Bob Bergman at the Postville Blacksmith Shop in Wisconsin. He not only had an oiler in stock, but he's an excellent source of information for this type of power hammer, having operated one commercially for quite a long period of time in his shop. 